Hey everybody, uh, back again to do a quick review of the Radian Ramjet and Afterburner and uh, give you some of my impressions. I know it's been about out for a bit now. Uh, it's not really all the rage like it was when it was first released, but I wanted to hold off and get a little more experience with it before I posted a review. Um, just for some background, I posted this barrel and comp combo in December of 2022. And since then I have just over a thousand rounds shot with this installed here on my Glock 45. Um, this pistol definitely is my go-to when I go to the range. So it took a little bit longer to reach the 1000 mark on the Ramjet. Uh, but now that I, now that I'm there on the round count, I feel like I can give it, I can give an accurate re review based on, uh, my actual experience with it. <clears throat> I'll start out by going through some of the positives of the system. Um, obviously it's pretty expensive and I'll touch on that more a little bit later, but I do feel like I got a quality product, uh, for my money, the machining and fit. I don't know if it's, you're able to tell here on camera, but they're excellent. Um, and I think the finish overall is outstanding. Um, in my 1000 rounds fired or thousand plus, I've hardly, uh, it's hardly showing any discernible wear on the barrel where it passes through the front of the slide. I don't know how well you can see that. <clears throat> and the barrel hood itself barely shows anywhere. So just a little bit there, but not much at all. <clears throat> everything, um, when I purchased it, everything dropped right into the Glock 45 slide. And I really like how the contouring on the comp matches up with the front of the slide. Um, everything just fits in nice and perfect like it was meant to be, which it was. Aesthetically, I, I think it looks great too. Um, as with pretty much all of Radian's products, they make a visually appealing product that to me looks like something that's worth the money that you're spending on it. Um, I also really like the attachment method <clears throat> of using a taper screw to attach the comp to the barrel. Um, the screw hasn't backed out at all, and I've only taken it out once uh, to clean it around the halfway mark, so around 500 rounds. And it came off without any difficulty and reinstalled without any difficulty. Um, it's a vast improvement to the set screw comps, um, in my opinion. And this feature alone adds a lot of value to this system. I've also had great luck with the function of this system with various ammo types. Um, all using the stock Glock recoil spring. Uh, I would have been a bit bummed if I spent this much on a barrel only to find out I needed to buy Radian's Gucci spring setup to be able to properly function with it, uh, with the barrel and comp installed. Uh, for reference, I've been shooting entirely 124 grain NATO spec ammo, so pretty hot stuff with a few cheap 115s thrown in. So a diet of lightly loaded 115s might still cause function issues, but I really can't, um, I didn't have enough experience with it to say for certain on that. The only reliability issue I experienced was with my coated cast bullet reloads. Uh, the chamber seems to be a pretty tight match style chamber. So I had a few of my cast reloads fail to go fully into battery. Um, they tend to run a bit oversized and I've experienced this in other match barrels before. So I don't really fault the Ramjet for this, just something to keep in mind if you're planning on feeding it reloads. Last up in the pros columns, and to me the reason I bought this was the effectiveness of the comp. Um, in shooting the comp, I do feel a noticeable difference in recoil impulse and return to zero of the dot um, through the cycling of the slide. So during slow aimed fire, uh, there really isn't too much difference, but when you start ripping doubles or going for speed on build drills or other speed oriented drills, uh, there's a noticeable difference in the shooting experience and the firearm was in my opinion, easier to control. Uh, as far as speed on a timer, there's really little to no difference for me personally, but I feel like I had to bear down and focus a bit harder on to get the same time without the comp installed. And for reference, I'm comparing those times with either a Glock 17 or 47 to this, the Glock 45 with the Ramjet and Afterburner. Uh, moving on to the cons and kind of carrying on from my last point, I don't necessarily feel that the difference in shooting that is afforded by this barrel and comp are worth the money uh, purely from a performance standpoint. Uh, 
So ignoring the cool factor, the nice aesthetics, and uh, what seems to be solid engineering, um, when you look at it in a vacuum of performance mindset only, I don't know that the juice is worth the squeeze. So $350 is a lot to stomach in my opinion for a performance upgrade that for me was on par with the improvement that I felt from um, $16 sandpaper adhesive grips that I installed on this and a few of my other Glocks. So if Radiant could get this down to like the $200-ish range, that would be awesome. And I feel like more in line with the results and feedback that it provides, but it's Radian and they don't seem to be having any trouble selling at the high price point. So I doubt we will ever see that happen. Uh, another thing to consider is that with the comp installed, it turns the footprint, footprint of the Glock 45 into what's essentially um, a 17 or 47. Um, so yes, the Ramjet tames the recoil and pulls to the 45 a bit, but um, so does extra slide mass of a 17 or 47. And once the footprint is already that big, um, I think I'd probably rather just put that $350 towards a different firearm, maybe some ammo or training to get equal results. Um, I think it's also worth noting that um, shooting a comp handgun, and this isn't just a, a ramjet issue, this is just a comp handgun thing in general, noticeably increases the noise and concussion that the shooter experiences. So you definitely want to bring good ear pro and or double up on ear pro with this installed. Um, and I think uh, this is my opinion, but for a new shooter, this might uh, actually be a detriment to their shooting as trying to not anticipate uh, noise and concussion are some of the bi biggest obstacles that new shooters face. Um, for the same reason, I'd be a little hesitant to use this in a duty or home defense role as I believe Every bit of hearing you can preserve in a defensive shooting is important uh, for maintaining situational awareness. And shooting with the ramjet is without a doubt louder for the shooter. I've had several moments where I took these cons into consideration and almost sold the ramjet. Uh, however, both times I considered it, I took it out to the range for one last ride. And each time I was reminded how much I enjoy it, whether I like to admit it to myself or not. So again, it doesn't really affect my shooting times or accuracy or anything all that much, but it's almost like having a recoil autopilot where I can get the same shooting results without having to absolutely bear down and be 100% focused on recoil control and follow through. Overall, um, I think it's a great product uh, for intermediate to advanced shooters looking to gain a little bit of an edge while shooting quickly or for someone who just appreciates the aesthetics of this setup and uh, likes nice things, I guess. So that's all I have really. Um, as always, if you have any questions, just comments or personal experience with the Ramjet Afterburner, feel free to drop them in the comments section.